What is the trashiest thing somebody has done at your family Thanksgiving? My aunt always brought several large Tupperware containers and would begin packing up food for herself immediately after everyone had filled their plate. If you thought you might want seconds you had to take them the first time because there was often nothing left after she'd filled her containers. Of course if you did that she'd make a snide comment about how much food you were eating. I don't recall ever seeing her sit down with a plate to eat with us. She was always in the kitchen packing up the food that she hadn't paid for or prepared. Her daughter, 28 at the time, wouldn't speak to anyone and fed the shrimp hors d'oeuvres to the cats. They are no longer invited. This was just a joke, but I still felt it was worth sharing. My uncle made a scene about having dropped something on the floor. When he was sure enough of us were now paying attention, he bends over to pick it up. His shirt rides up and we see a tramp stamp tiger crawling out of his bed crack. It was a temporary tattoo that he had my aunt help him put on specifically for this occasion. The woman my cousin had just married stole a Costco sized box of individually wrapped cheese it packages from our garage. I just happened to notice they were gone when putting food in the fridge. Asked about it publicly and she locked up, started stuttering, and went to get them out of her car. She returned with the excuse, I thought these were mine. I have a box just like them at home. I was at my wife's uncle's house for Thanksgiving, and his wife decided right after dinner to play their wedding video, because it was also their anniversary weekend. She looks for a half hour to find the videotape, finds it and gathers the whole in a party, 25-ish people, to the backroom area, plays the video, and right as she's walking down the aisle. Midway down the aisle it goes fuzzy, and cuts to Dale Earnhardt's funeral. Uncle Joe used that tape to record Dale Earnhardt's funeral. Granted it was in small town Michigan where the Nazca track is, but still, everyone froze in complete shock and I started laughing and felt like I was in a sitcom, but it was real life. Every year we had Thanksgiving at my grandparents' house. One year everyone was there but one aunt. She was outside in her car refusing to come in. Turns out she had taken out a credit card in my cousin's name while said cousin was in the navy. Cousin found out on the drive over while opening her mail. Aunt had racked up $10,000 plus debt for my cousin. Edit, cousin did not pay, her father made her mother pay her back using part of her retirement. Seems this was just one of the first signs my aunt was not in her right mind anymore. My cousin did not want to press charges but was able to get her credit back up with some work after the debt was played off by her mother. There were a couple of other things my aunt had done but nothing like this. Unfortunately, she was literally out of her mind and only got worse. That Thanksgiving was one of the last ones where our family got together like that. My uncle, aunt and cousins never came back after that one. They did visit again at other times, but aunt was medicated and not like herself anymore. One of my mom's friends was invited to our Thanksgiving because her kids were at their so's families for the holiday. That year, my uncle brought a bottle of homemade lemon cello to share. The stuff was delicious, but it was also 50% alcohol. Everyone was drinking it out of little one ounce glass cups. My mom's friend instead poured herself a full wine glass, one half the bottle, when no one was looking, downed it in 15 minutes, and then tried to go back for more. She was passed out drunk at least an hour before dinner even began. An actual family fight broke out. We had to call the cops and everything. My grandpa got a fine. My uncle was arrested. My step grandmother's oldest daughter was arrested. Before my uncle and grandpa passed away, we wouldn't let them live it down. It was glorious. When I say fight, I mean people on the floor throwing punches. We never went back to my grandpa's for Thanksgiving after that. This was when I was between 8 and 9. We actually went back one year, and my aunt gave us all food poisoning. My mom was literally dragging my brother and I into the ER because how bad the food poisoning was. I have not eaten anything she has cooked since. Excuse me for laughing. What started the fight? Oh, it's no problem. We still laugh about it. My step-grandmother's daughter called my grandpa a dumb illiterate duck because my grandpa couldn't read. But my uncle lost it and jumped the lady. My grandpa tried to break it up but accidentally hit the daughter in the process, which is what caused him to get the fine, but yeah. 
My uncle fought a woman because she insulted my grandpa. My uncle brought a woman other than his wife. She was crazy. A practicing witch who would divine things about us on the spot, and ironically accused my other uncle of having an affair. She got drunk and groped me in the coat closet, then tried to kiss me saying, if only I were young again. I was 16. Faked a heart attack. It was very surreal. And her husband was so embarrassed. Edit, here's what happened. Grandmother didn't like my dad very much, and she picked a fight with him so he decided that he was going home. When grandmother M realized that my stepmom, her daughter, was going to take dad's side and go home too, she yelled a lot and then, as a last ditch effort, dramatically clutched her chest and collapsed very carefully, it was outside and I guess she didn't want to bump her head or muss her clothes. Dad offered to call 911. Grandfather said it wasn't necessary, and when grandmother realized no one was taking her seriously she opened her eyes, allowed grandfather to help her up, and went inside with him while fake sobbing. Normally she was quite nice, but she had her moments and really wasn't happy that her daughter had grown up and had a life. Holidays usually brought out the worst in her. Which was weird because she loved cooking and celebrating. Aunt took all of the leftover turkey, all of it. My mother told our aunt to help herself to some leftovers and she took a 4 fifth full bottle of $350 whiskey. She got called out on it and claimed to have accidentally grabbed it. Mayo, sweetie no big deal. She returned it half full so either she chugged some in the car or dumped some out in spite. We were hosting Thanksgiving and prepared all the food ourselves and my mom spent all morning cooking and baking. My aunt, uncle and cousins arrive right before dinner and walk in with a white castle case and said they just stopped to eat a few minutes ago. We had prepared Thanksgiving just for them, and they decided that they wanted white castle instead. I would have told them to walk right back out. My mom told my cousin's husband not to cuss in front of their baby because she'll eventually repeat it. I get it, not her place maybe? Cousin's husband pulls out his gun and threatens to shoot my mom for telling him what to do. He looks exactly like you'd imagine. My husband's brother and his sister-in-law, who was married to his other brother, always disappeared for about 20 to 40 minutes at the same time. This happened for 4 years in a row before anyone got nosy enough to go looking for them. Sister-in-law is now married to the Thanksgiving hookup brother. Every Thanksgiving with my mother-in-law. My wife and I host. About 15 people come, and everyone brings side dishes as is the custom. Not her mother. She only brings stuff for herself. She proudly announces that whatever she brought is just for her. It's not for diet purposes, because she eats all the other food too. When dessert makes an appearance, she will make a big scene about wanting the first piece instead of letting the kids get theirs and get out of the way. One year there was a big argument about the corner pieces of a chocolate cake. She went first as usual, and cut herself to corner pieces and took them both. If you want to make little kids cry, do that. She wouldn't give them up though. Also, she treats our guest room and bath like a hotel. When she leaves she takes the toilet paper rolls, the Kleenex box, paper towels, soap, etc. Edit, just to address some of the comments in one swoop. She's not fat and she's not senile. She is invited every year because my wife is the only family that she has and my wife would feel tremendously guilty if she didn't invite her. Not much of an excuse, but that's why. And if you are horrified by the above, this is just the tip of the iceberg. I could really make your head spin with her behavior on the 364 days of the year that on Thanksgiving. Edit 2. Here's some additional examples I posted in a response to a comment below. Let me think of some more sordid tales. A local bank used to have a freezer inside during a summer promotion with free ice cream bars for customers. She got banned from the bank because she would go there every day and take two ice cream bars and bring them home. She wasn't even a customer at the bank. Finally they told her not to come back. In the 20 or so years I've been with my wife, her mother has never offered to cook a meal. Pay for a meal, watch our kids, or help with the kids in any way. The last time she was invited here she brought half a tray of pastries. My wife questioned her about it, and she took the leftover tray of pastries from a party she was at after they had been picked over and god knows what. We told her to throw them out, 
but she just put them back in her car. Also, if she's at a restaurant and someone has a birthday party, she will go over to their table and ask them if she can have a piece of their cake. I'm not joking. She has a real thing about cake. She stole my mother's prescription eyeglasses last Christmas when they were both here, claiming that she thought they were hers. Hers were black reading glasses, my mother's were red prescription glasses. After getting busted for that, she planted a black sweater in my mom's guest room and made a big deal about my mom taking her things. She once showed up unannounced to one of our vacations, and brought a friend, and expected us to take them both to dinner 5 minutes after we arrived. We don't tell her when we are going on vacation anymore. I can keep going. This isn't an isolated thing. But if someone doesn't show up for Thanksgiving or Christmas we automatically check the inmate records at the county jail. It's happened a few times that someone's absence is accounted for by an arrest and or jail stay. Edited to at, in 2016 my brother was a no-show for Christmas and we checked the jail's website. We saw our unique last name on their roster and assumed he'd been arrested. Turns out it was my uncle. I never did ask my brother where he was that year. My father's girlfriend sat at the head of the table at my house and acted like she was the hostess while monopolizing the entire conversation. I was her waitstaff. It was my first time meeting her. Five years later they are still together but I haven't seen her in 4 years, 11 months, and 29 days. It wasn't just the head of table scandal of 2013 that sunk her for me. She said I should eat very little to watch my figure, it's my thanksgiving meal. She said I should dye my hair, I like my natural color, she was disappointed in my husband's wardrobe choice for the evening, he looked fine, and the grand finale was that she told my father I was a bish after the night was over after everything I did to make her comfortable. I should also mention she's 10 years older than him, 85 at the time, wears a full face of makeup, dyes her hair dark every week, and is very superficial. Not who I plan to be when I'm in my 80s. I think she's jealous of my relationship with him and is constantly wanting to assert herself as his number one. I'm perfectly fine with that and it's awesome she keeps busy. I see my father all the time and I am perfectly happy with the arrangement. My kids had extra doses of time with her so they are thrilled they don't see her anymore. They loved my mother so much. They were perfectly open to her relationship with her but she's so vain and ridiculous that it wasn't possible. She was responsible for bringing the dessert. She showed up 3 hours late and instead of bringing dessert she brought an open bag of frozen pierogies. It was a real downer. 